This is Jerry Mischewski with Balanced Community Slack Science out here in sunny Davis, California. Uh, today we're going to be going over a technique for measuring the distance between your two trees so that you know how much pulley system you need. Uh, and the technique we're going to use is just counting your steps as you walk from one tree to the other. Uh, in order to speed things up, I'm going to also flake my line out and make sure it's flat at the same time. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start at this tree, at the, the static side, as you're walking towards the tensioning anchor, and try to take uniform size steps, making note of how big those steps are. Because you want to, when you're measuring your pulley system, you're going to want to make sure your steps are the same size as when you're walking from one tree to the other. So let's do it. Six fifty-seven. All right, so we have fifty-seven steps from that tree to this tree, and I'm using Type 18 Mark II, which has about ten percent stretch, roughly, give or take, at the working load limit. And you need to know what your webbing stretch is at, and all that information is available on the Balance Community product page. Just find which webbing you're using, and the stretch values will be given. So we have fifty-seven steps from that tree to here and I need to pull it 10% in order for it to be tight enough to walk on. And so 10% of 57 steps is 5.7 steps. So that's how long my pulley system needs to be. So I'm going to measure six steps just to go a little bit overboard. And so start at the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here is where I need to anchor. And I usually grab a little stick and mark it off just by sticking it in the ground over your line. Then I have my pulley system pre-stretched out here. And bring it right to that spot. And this is where I need to anchor. And now that I, I know, because I measured the distance, this is going to be enough pulley system. And this, this technique works really well. I've never had any problems with it. Um, and you can, get, you can get by with less static rope by using the techniques that we talked about before. Um, but yeah, this is a great method for, for measuring your, your pulley system length. Thanks for watching.